Please God, I'm wrong. But I strongly believe that this coronavirus cannot be defeated without the help of God. The physical distancing, which is very important, absolutely essential at the moment, but all it is achieving is slowing it down and protecting people for the moment, for the moment, slowing it down so that our hospitals will not be swamped, but it is not going to eradicate it unless God sends the type of weather either through light or through heat that sometimes flu viruses respond to unless we get the type of weather that's just one possibility but other than that the physical distancing is not going to solve the problem it will still be there when the physical distancing ends we weren't able to keep the virus from getting into Ireland now that it has got into Ireland we are not going to be able to succeed in eradicating it from Ireland and even if we did, it will come in from some other country. And so I firmly believe that we need the help of God. Now some people are pointing to the apparent success rate in China. I am very dubious of the stories coming out of China. Originally they tried to clamp down on the doctors who diagnose it. Even as late as mid-January, they told us it could only be contacted from wildlife. And the WHO without question believed them. And the Western media believed them. And so I have great doubts about statistics coming out of China concerning there being no new cases. And I also have great doubts about statistics coming out of China about the number of deaths. They are saying that Spain and America have now passed China in the number of deaths. Sorry, I do not believe it. Deaths are only classified as being resulting from the coronavirus if the people have been tested for the coronavirus. There could a hundred people die of the coronavirus, but maybe only five of them are being tested. And so um, the death statistics that are being given by China, I don't believe them or I suspect them. And any false hope that the people are developing as a result of the reports coming from China, I believe to be just that, false hope. And so we're back to the position that for many people, the only way for them to stay safe is to stay isolated. And to stay isolated forever, that's challenging. I'll speak about that in another video. I will share with you in another video practical steps that people can take during times of isolation to grow in their relationship with God and to have a meaningful lifestyle even when isolated. Meanwhile, we are back to praying. Praying, number one, that somehow God will send the type of weather that will cause it to dissipate. Praying, number two, that an effective vaccine may be found. Now, the difficulty about finding an effective vaccine is this. It seems that some people can get it a number of times. Now, whether that's just some people or whether it's many people, I do not know. But if it is the case that a significant number of people can get it again and again and again, I cannot see how a successful vaccine can be developed that will give any length of immunity whatsoever. And then the other prayer is that more effective treatments for it may be found. There are many medicines in the world that are being used for different purposes to treat different illnesses. And we just pray that perhaps the doctors may be able to find some medicine from all the medicines that already exist. Some medicine that may be effective against the coronavirus. Meanwhile, the bottom line is 
We absolutely need God's help. That is my firm belief. We need miracles. And just as physical distancing can help us to protect us in the short term, how do we become open for God's grace for real miracles to take place that will deal with this virus once and for all? A couple of suggestions. Number one, to seek to surrender ourselves into God's hands completely and totally. The mystic Dolindo Ruotolo in the Surrender Novena, which he claimed to have received from Jesus himself, it states in it that one complete act of surrender to God is better than a thousand prayers. And so I invite you now, right now, God is there with you right at this moment. And I invite you to make a real surrender of your life to him at this moment. I invite you to surrender your fears. Tell the Lord what your fears are. And then seek to the best of your ability to surrender them to him. Then Surrender your losses. If you're suffering loss, financial loss, whatever, if you're out of your mind with worry over the losses you have suffered, seek to surrender, to surrender. As Jesus said, we cannot even add a moment to our lives by worrying. Seek to surrender all your worries to the Lord. Seek to surrender at this moment your very life to the Lord. And if there is an area of moral struggle in your life, spiritual struggle, if, for example, you doubt God, surrender that right now to Jesus and ask him to take away your doubts. Lord Jesus, I pray for anybody who is watching this, who doubts your existence or who doubts that you love them. Lord, at this moment, grant them the grace to believe, to know that you are with them, and right at this moment to surrender their doubts to you. And we also, Lord, seek to surrender any mortal struggle. If there's anybody watching this, Lord Jesus, who is going through a time of moral struggle. I pray, Lord, for them the grace to surrender that moral struggle to you at this very moment. Praying for the grace to so love you that for the next 24 hours that they will truly be able to walk in your ways. As well as surrender then, the next step is using our time for prayer. Many of us will have much less activity over the coming weeks, perhaps months, as a result of this virus. Give prayer, spending time with God, opening our heart to God, talking to God. Let that have a more prominent place in your life. Don't be watching the television the whole time. It will only dissipate you. Take time for God. Take time to pray. And then the third thing I suggest is sacrifice. For some that will be fasting. For myself at the moment, for medical reasons, I'm not fasting at the moment from food. But I'm fasting from other things. But let there be some element of fasting in your life. So surrender, prayer and fasting of some sort. Let these be your three major responses to God. And the fourth one and final one. If you need to repent. If your life is not aligned with God. Then at this moment. At this moment. Decide to join what be, could be termed God's army in face of this coronavirus. At this moment. Make a decision that you want to align your life with God. That you desire to repent of your sins and walk in his ways. 
and may God's blessing go out to you to give you the grace and the strength to do all this, to surrender to God, to develop prayer, methods of prayer, to make sacrifices, fasting, whatever, and repentance. May God's blessing go out to you to walk in these ways in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.